Welcome to the Timonium and Fairview United Methodist Church online worship experience. We begin with the 130th Psalm. Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If you, O Lord, should mark iniquities, Lord, who could stand? But there is forgiveness with you that you may be worshipped. I wait for the Lord. My soul waits. In the Lord's word, I hope. My soul waits for the Lord. More than those who watch for the morning. More than those who watch for the morning. O oh, Israel, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is steadfast love. And with the Lord is plenteous redemption. And the Lord will redeem Israel from all iniquities. Let us pray. Gracious God, we pray that you would keep us firmly centered in the hope that we have from you. Lord, help us to put into practice those values of the kingdom of heaven that will bring us at last into a home not made with hands, but eternal in the heavens, one that you have created for us and in which we hope. Amen. Our New Testament lesson comes from Paul's letter to the Colossians. Paul, an apostle of Christ Jesus, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, to the saints and faithful brothers and sisters in Christ in Colossae, grace to you and peace from God our Father. In our prayers for you, we always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, for we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love that you have for all the saints. Because of the hope laid up for you in heaven, you have heard of this hope before in the word of truth, the gospel, that has come to you. Just as it is bearing fruit and growing in the whole world, so it has been bearing fruit among yourselves from the day you heard it and truly comprehended the grace of God. This you learned from Epaphras, our beloved fellow servant. He is faithful minister of Christ on your behalf, and he has made known to us your love in the Spirit. For this reason, since the day we heard it, we have not ceased praying for you and asking that you may be filled with the knowledge of God's will in all spiritual wisdom and understanding, so that you may lead lives worthy of the Lord, fully pleasing to him, as you bear fruit in every good work and as you grow in the knowledge of God. May you be made strong with all the strength that comes from this glorious power, and may you be prepared to endure everything with patience while joyfully giving thanks to the Father who has enabled you to share in the inheritance of the saints of light. And our gospel lesson comes from John 15, verses 9 through 17. If it is within your tradition to stand for the reading of the gospel, please do so at this time. As the Father has loved me, says Jesus, I have loved you. Abide in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will abide in my love, just as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in his love. I have said these things to you so that, you, that my joy may be in you and that your joy may be complete. This is my commandment, that you love one another as I have loved you. No one has greater love than this, Lay down one's life for one's friends. You are my friends if you do what I command you. I do not call you servants any longer, because the servant does not know what the master is doing. But I have called you friends, because I have made known to you everything that I have heard from my Father. You did not choose me, but I chose you. And I appointed you to go and bear fruit, fruit that will last, so that the Father will give you whatever you ask him in my name. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. 